This video is the second part of my tutorial for the new Mimic Instrument Editor. The first part showed off how the editor works and how you can build instruments using samples that you own. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out, there's a link down in the description. And with that out of the way... Alright, so now let's talk getting these instruments onto your Mimic. There's two ways of doing it, one's really really simple and one is a little bit more complicated but it allows you to load multiple instruments and even presets at the same time in one file. So I'll quickly show you how to do both of those. So this is my USB pen drive that I use exclusively with the Mimic. It's got some backups, it's got some of my store presets on it. It's got some instruments already on there. If I want to load any of the instruments that I've just made, I'll just open this Mimic Instruments folder and basically I can just control and C or right click and copy or drag and drop however you want to do it, copy to the pen drive and then you just wait for that to copy across and you can literally now go and take that pen drive and place it into your Mimic and load the instrument. Or if you want to bundle all of these together, I'll show you how to do that now. So these are some Mimic instruments that I've already made. I don't actually want these ones, so I'll just get rid of those for now. And I'm basically going to create a new folder and I'm going to put them all into this folder. And what I'll do is I'll call this EDW PP13 by 7 dot lib or lib. And that will now be read by the Mimic as a container folder and they'll all get loaded together in the module. So inside this folder, if I wanted to, I could literally just drag and drop these into there. But if I also want to include some presets, then I need to actually make another folder structure inside here. So I'll go in, right click, new folder, instruments, enter, and then new folder, kits, enter. Okay, and then what I'll do is I will copy, well, I'll cut, control and X or right click and the little scissors and put these into the instruments folder. So right click, paste. So now they're inside that folder and then I've got another folder over here called Mimic Presets, which are some presets that I created using those instruments. Now, this is a little bit of a sort of chicken and egg situation where you need to have the instruments already loaded onto your module to create a preset using that instrument. And then you wanna go back and set all this up. It's a little bit awkward, but because I wanna package these kits together for my store, this works for me, you don't necessarily have to do it. But as long as the instrument has the same names and details, the module will be able to locate it even if you do delete it and then reinstall it as part of a library. So inside this kits folder, these are all presets that I've pulled off the Mimic. And originally these will all be labeled with a square bracket and a U at the beginning like this. But what I did is I just deleted those because what this now does is it means that these come up as if these are factory presets. So they actually come up above the user presets in the kit list. And because I've labeled them all beginning with EDW, they all group together. And if you wanna make this really professional, you can add a file in here, which will tell the Mimic what library version this is. So to do this, you need to view the full file extensions of all files and then you want to create a new text document, but delete the .txt file name and call it libver.mimicinfo. Hit enter, it will ask you if you're sure you want to change it, say yes, and then you can open this with notepad, and then whatever you type in here will now be recognized as the library version. So for example, today's date is the 28th of June, 2022, and then hit save, and that will now be picked up on the Mimic as the library version. So if you ever change your library, you can update that file. And now I can copy that .lib file and I can put it onto my USB drive, straight onto the root, and then we can just eject the pen drive, take it over to the Mimic and load these instruments. So this is the quick and easy bit, pen drive into the module, turn it on, and then once it's booted up, you go to settings, unlock it if you need to, and press import instrument library from USB stick. And you'll see that the screen's split into two. On the left, that's your USB drive, and on the right, that's the internal storage. And then as you can see, I've got a few .mci files, which are the individual instruments, and I've also got that porkpy 13 by 7 library file. So if you're just installing an individual instrument, you literally just select that .mci file, hit import, and then it might take a moment depending on the file size, and then it will appear in the right hand window showing you that it's now installed on your module. And installing the library is the exact same process, select the library file, hit import, wait for it to load, and there it is installed onto the module. If you do want to delete any of these, all you have to do is highlight them on the right hand side and hit the delete button, 
it will check with you whether or not you definitely want to delete it and now that's off your internal storage. The only disadvantage with the library file is you can't go in and delete individual instruments from the library. It's just treated as one file on the module so you can either delete the whole library or you can keep it installed. So it's really up to you which method is better for your instruments. And just while we're here you'll see that the Mimic Factory library is also listed on this right hand window. Make sure that you don't delete that, that's all of the stock instruments that come on your module. It's a really big file, it will take a long time to reinstall, you don't want to do that. But otherwise we're finished on here, press exit, it might take a moment, then we can go over to edit kit, select whatever instrument it is that you want to pick, find the instrument type if that's applicable, and you should be able to find your new instruments in the instrument list. If you did install a library which also includes presets, they'll be available under the kit list, however sometimes it does take a moment for them to turn up. I found that the quickest way to sort that out is just to restart the module. And that should be all you need to know.